Welcome again to City Scene TV. Tonight we'll be talking about some longtime community events in Camarillo. Our first guest will be uh, with the Pleasant Valley Lions Club to fill us in on this year's 4th of July fireworks at Camarillo High School. And a bit later, we're going to be talking about the Camarillo Fiesta and Street Fair, which is coming again to Old Town in July. But first, let's welcome President and Vice President of the Pleasant Valley Lions Club, uh, Russ White and Mike Nunez. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for being here. It is great to have both of you here. And we're excited to hear kind of, I know there's some changes with the fireworks. And so uh, first, can you tell me how long the fireworks have been going on? You guys have been putting those on here. Well, I, I've been involved in it since the, the conception back when uh, Freedom Park. So okay. it's been 24 years. 24 years. It. Yeah. That is awesome. The Lions Club has been involved in it. And as mentioned, it's going to be at Camarillo High School. Yes. Yeah. And uh, gates are going to be opening later this year. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, this year the gates going to be open at seven. It's normally at four, but now this year it's at seven o'clock. Okay. And uh, the, one of the reasons is that the uh, Camera High School uh, field is going to be renovated and get they're going to get uh, fake turf. Okay. Okay. So that is kind of like we don't we won't have the big party like we have had in the past. Yeah. Unfortunately, there will be no no sitting in the football field. So. It's all going to be narrowed down to the benches that are on the home side of the football field. Okay. Okay. Well, understandable. They're getting the new turf, but right. we still have, we still have uh, the bleachers, right. Right? right? We still right. have the view. Yes. Um, so, uh, talk to us a bit more just about the event in general. Um, you know, you mentioned that this has been ongoing for over 20 years in Camarillo. Um, this year, will there be a cost to attend the fireworks show? No, there will not be. Uh, it's free admission this year due to the fact that the fields are under renovation and we cannot use them, either the practice field or the main field. Okay. Uh, so they, and the time is cut, there's no barbecuing, there's no jolly jumps for the kids. Uh, so it's kind of eliminated most everything during the early afternoon for us. Yeah, okay. okay, it'll be a little bit different, but yeah, um, I think I think it will still be a fun event for us to attend and bring our families. Right, yeah. Yeah. it'll be a yeah. fantastic show. Well, and I mean, I know the thing, the big draw, obviously there's a lot of fun things that are going right. on, but it's, it's the fireworks that people go there and, you know, you guys always put on an amazing show, and so that will be that continuing will be, on. That will still be there. Yeah. yeah. Now, as you mentioned, this, there will be no um, infield seating. Um, it's just going to be on the bleachers, and, um, and so we're going to have limited seating. Right. One of the things that look, we, might, we really want to get out there and, and tell everybody that uh, there won't be any coolers, wagons, uh, folding chairs, because okay. you won't be able to put them anywhere. Right. You okay. know, you're, the only seating that we'll have is on, on the benches. Okay. Okay. And also umbrellas. I know in the past people have brought umbrellas. Right. We want to make sure you don't bring those. It's just, yeah. it's just kind of show up at 7, there for the fireworks, enjoy it. And now gates yeah. open at 7. Gates I'm, open I'm guessing people probably start showing up a little bit earlier to get in to get prime seats. Right. Okay. But I think the shuttle the shuttle starts around 6:45. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the shuttle goes from at uh, at the MetroLink and also at Technicolor. So we'll be people there, and then uh, Russ, we're going to have some. Yeah, we're going to open the snack bar up top, and but it'll be just be prepackaged foods this year. Okay. Uh, no cooking, no barbecuing, or any of that. Okay. And the Lions will be the only club there with snacks because there's no room for you know the trucks to come in that right. we normally bring right. in, or the barbecues, even our big. 20-foot tent and everything we can't use okay. this year. Okay. Yeah, it'll, it'll be a little bit of an it'll adjustment yeah. this year, a yeah. little bit different. Be but <laughs> yeah, we, we will be patient. And, and for the bleacher seating, I know that sometimes I like to bring like a little blanket or something to sit on to be more comfortable. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, that should still should still work. Yeah. Yeah. And if we true. get a big turnout like we usually expect, I'm sure we'll be cozy it'll on, be, on, yeah. the, be on the bleachers. <laughs> yeah, so probably tight. those that go should be ready to kind of be close yeah. to the neighbor. Yeah. 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 Everybody get to get to your neighbor. Right, right. Yeah. So, so we talked about. Um, you said the gates. The gates will open at 7 p.m. We'll yeah. be uh, selling snacks right. during that time. Is there music right. or or anything going on during that time before the fireworks begin? 
Uh, yes, they have a DJ that's going to start at 7 o'clock and it'll be through the PA system there. We don't have a separate sound system this year. Uh, so, but he starts at 7 and he'll go to 9 and they will coordinate the music with the fireworks at 9 o'clock also. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's great that it's coming through the loudspeaker. Yeah, Everybody will be able to, to enjoy it. it. Try to make it more yeah. you know, true yeah. well, at least. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. A little it deal. Is, it's always surprising to me is how much the music adds to the fireworks. Right. It really brings yeah. energy and life, and, mm -hmm. and then obviously that patriotism to right. it. So yeah. it's, it's a lot of fun. You'd, you'd mentioned gates also. The gate on Santa Rosa will be open also. Okay. That people off in that Santa Rosa, uh, but they're, they're going to be funneled right down to the bleachers. Okay. Uh, they'll make sure you stay off the field and you know go no place else except to the bleachers. Okay. And then the main entrance is up on top. Okay. Uh, so as far as coming in that Santa Rosa, is is there going to be a shuttle that'll be dropping off, or you just park you, across the street and then yeah, come in that way? Yeah. You can park, park across the street. The street. Okay. Yeah. And our shuttle buses will still be dropping down at the bottom there. Okay. Uh, and they'll have security checks there and at the main gate also. Uh, okay. So, Good. you know, checking coolers because there's no alcohol allowed uh, and, okay. you know, hopefully yeah. no outside and fireworks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we want to keep everybody safe. Yeah. That's Just for remember, sure. we're, we're very limited in, at, on the room, yeah. you know, no, so we yeah. want to get the bodies in there yeah. instead of... I know we've been yeah. wanting to get it's turf just, on that field for a while. Yeah, so yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's yeah. good that we And then we're the idea it. is next year we'd be able to go back or is that kind of waiting to see? No, I don't no. think so. Okay. The way it sounds, the this football be, field is off limits for now on. Okay. Now, hopefully next year the practice field Okay. Might be able to be on, used. Yeah, I don't know side. for sure. Okay. Because they'll be having equipment on that side over there. Yeah. You know, I, I think off. our family would probably do something like, you know, maybe barbecue at home. Right. You know, get everybody right. ready to go. Sure. You know, bring a blanket and then head on over to the high school yeah, and the gates right. open. That would be good. Yeah. Be a few people come there for dinner and things, you know, but be aware that they're not going to let you in with picnic tables right. and things right. like that. So yeah. I think we've got some pictures that uh, we can look at real quick here to okay. kind of sure. talk. Let's do it. So you okay. want to walk so, us yeah. through those? Here we go. We have the uh, advertisement here reminding us that the gates are opening right. at 7. And that's just kind of one of the, the ground shows there that starts off over by the parking lot. And uh, those of people that have gone before, that we all I've heard is comments, you know, hey, you guys put on another great show. Another great show. Yeah. Yeah. You, so, you do. You really do. So that's just more... This, this is a lot of fun, and, and you know, having grown up in Camarillo and seen so many of these years of shows, it's always and, fun and to be there. You were talking about the patriotism, you know, you got yeah. people running around flags and so forth. It really does make it fun. Yeah, it does. Well, hey, 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 we know this guy. No, you don't. Yeah. You know, all that got in there. But. Yeah. From last year, probably. Yeah. yeah. Probably, yeah. Well, yeah. and, it, and it's, it's so family friendly, I and mean, obviously some of the things that we've had in the past won't be there this year, but it's just fun yeah. as, a, as a dad to see kids' eyes light up as they see the fireworks, they hear right. the music. It's just a fun, mm -hmm. fun family night here in Camarillo. Oh, yeah. It's just yeah. some of the activities that we've done in Lions and so forth, and just as a combination yeah. there with, uh, with another fellow Lions clubs that we, that we deal with. Yeah, I, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that too, kind of transition from the 4th of July to, you know, tell us a little bit about the Lions Club and some of the activities that you do. Well, um, the first one we're going to have, uh, the fair parking the fair. is coming up. Most people don't know it, but that's when you pay to park at the fair, that's Lions. That's our club that uh, is there collecting the money. We don't wear the shirts and everything. Oh, cool. So it's but, a fundraiser for yeah, you. Yeah, it's a fundraiser for okay. us. And then we get into October, we October Fest, we get October Fest, which is in Underwood Farms, and if you know where that is in mm -hmm. uh, Moore Park, uh, we cook out there. We do hamburgers, hot dogs, tri-tip sandwiches, corn, and just you know, a com complete meal if you want. Well, I've had. <laughs> have you had Lions Club barbecue? Yeah. it is spectacularly well, we do, delicious. You know, we, Russ, that's how we fundraise. But also, what we've done in the last couple of years, we've uh, got these eye monitors that we go to the school districts. Mm -hmm. And for the last three years, we've almost checked over twenty thousand kids for glasses, and wow. we can give out. Um, printouts of what their vision is right there and then also with the Lions Club if they can't afford it we send them to our doctor mm. and then we get them some glasses so we are gained for the site and yeah. then we deal with the with the C&I dogs and we that's one of our main stress is the site and the diabetes. Can, can you tell us a little bit more about the C&I dogs? 
Oh, we've had three of them. Yeah, we've, we've had, had three. three of them. Uh, we sponsor the puppies from the time they're born uh, until they get to 18 months. Okay. You have a puppy raiser, and they raise that puppy. They socialize them, just everything. They go every place with them. Yeah. And then they go back to Guide Dogs of America, which is in the valley uh, where they get them from. Uh, and then they're trained for C&I uh, to actually be on the street with people. But uh, not every puppy makes it. but. I would say 90% mm -hmm. of them probably yeah. end up going through the I'm school. Sure, yeah. I'm sure every puppy is well, adorable. When, when, yes. when, we <laughs> when we announced that, that uh, one of our puppies has graduated and now is a C&I dog, yeah. you know, um, everybody just gets really excited about yeah. it, you wow. know. That's yeah. And to think about the life that it's right, going right. you know, we're giving yeah. somebody yeah. else some more mobility yeah. in life and so forth, so. Yeah. Well, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. We are grateful for program. Lions Club and for what you you guys and the team do for the community. Thanks for mm -hmm. the work you're going to be doing for the 4th of July. Now, just to kind of hit the details, the shuttles start at 645. 645 at the Metro Link and also at uh, Technicolor. Okay. That parking yeah, lot area Technicolor over there. Parking mm -hmm. lot. Yeah. Okay, and, and I'd just like to remind our audience that for more information, they can visit uh, our website, mm -hmm. cityofcamrio.org slash fireworks2019. And um, before we wrap up the show, is there anything else you'd like to share? Show up and have fun. That's, That's right. right. That's a great recipe for a fun <laughs> 4th of July. That's right. what we do it. Well, guys, thank yeah. you so Enjoy much. Enjoy the day.